you mentioned Bali, and I know this was not just a normal, ordinary trip for you. Uh -huh. What was different about it? And did you like it? Did, could you oh completely uncharge? I really wanted to unplug, right? Yeah. Like I, um, I just found myself reading so much stuff. And I looked over at John, and I was like, we were in the car together on this like long drive somewhere. And then I secretly in my head counted how many times like he looked up at me or I looked up to say something to him and and uh, it just it I just could not believe how yeah. much we were on our phones and I was developing like pain in my hands from it and you know mentally it can be kind of crazy too to read so much so we went on this like amazing little retreat just I read some books the books were not what we'll say they weren't really um, relaxing in any okay. way but the whole trip itself was really wonderful I will say I was kind of the first person to make fun of uh, people that did those little uh, the getaways yeah. and the retreat and the you know be to yourself and yoga and meditation I was the first person to be like that is so silly like I mean get it together and I will say I am a believer now I think wow. it's it's really good like like I said everything's balanced we have these awesome fantastic crazy life moments that like I'm so lucky to have and then you realize that like it's the quiet moments that are really important too so it was nice to be able to go into a quiet moment and and Luna had such a good time it was so cool that she could just be naked baby and running around and uh, trying new foods and we did cooking classes it was just really really nice i saw the clothes you guys really embraced the culture too. We i know yeah. i know i actually just sent that photo to my mom and um i should know by now if i send a photo to mom it's going on social media immediately oh that wasn't supposed to get out there that um i i was nervous because i didn't know if anybody would get mad about it or so who knows these days so um yeah i, I sent it to my mom and you know we're southeast asian so she was so proud and she was like come back my princess yeah. and yeah, it was really cute. You're killing me. And John went full on. John did the earrings. I mean, you he went all out, zoom right? Zoom in on that photo. It's important. John's to earrings? In. Yes. Okay, we're probably zooming right now as, <laughs> as we look at it. Time Magazine said you're one of the most influential oh, people crazy. on the internet. What did you think <laughs> when you heard that news? I was so excited because I that was one of the first events John and I got to attend was the Time 100. Yeah. Not saying I'm on the Time 100, but um, I remember being in that room and being in awe of everybody that was there. And then um, I, I just, I, I couldn't believe it, honestly. I, it's cool and in a way you're like, oh my God, like do you really want to be like queen of Twitter? Or is that like a cool thing? I feel like, like what if I had been voted like queen of MySpace? That would be embarrassing now, but. Yeah, yeah now it would be embarrassing, but Twitter's still going strong. I, I mean, know, I, I think agree. you should take it, accept it, and roll I with it. I am taking it because I'm a firm believer that Twitter is never going out of style.